I don't know what the lighting looks like on this thing, but here we go. On this week's episode of... I was going to say 368, but that's not what we do. That's Casey Neistat. Oh, Two Minute Tuesday. No, wait, that's... That's Peter McKinnon. Montreal Monday? No, that's, uh, that's Viva Fry. On this week's episode of Cooking with Christy. With Christy in the Kitchen. Which sounds better? Which sounds better? Christy in the Kitchen. Anyway, leave a comment. We'll name, we're going to give this, a, uh, this segment a name. Because it's going to be Christy's Cooking, Cooking with Christy, Christy in the Kitchen. Something about food and my wife making it. So anyway, like food with my wife making it? No, something about food and my wife making it. <laughs> anyway, leave a comment below with a good name for the segment, and that's what the segment will be called. And if we choose your comment, congratulations. Anyway... On to the video of this week. It's the response to Viva Fry's vegan, whatever it was he made, vegan burgers or something, but looked really nasty. But uh, his wife saved it, I remember, out of that video. Anyway, my wife knows how to make vegan food, or some of it anyway. Uh, this is a disclaimer we are not vegan. But we do eat healthier sometimes than at other times when we don't eat healthy at all. Anyway, enjoy. We'll get back to you later on Zero Hour TV 256. flour first for the veggie burgers with a cup of oats in the blender, baking soda, which I don't actually measure, just put a pinch in, baking powder, which I'm running out of as you can hear, put a whole spoon in. And some of our seasoning, which isn't open yet. Might want to cut for a second. I think I have to turn the air on. Do you need to. You want me to turn the air on? Is that what you said? It's hot. Alright, as soon as we're done with the shot. Hamburger seasoning. Because we didn't go by and get any of the Canadian. Just a little bit. What was it, Montreal? Yeah. Pinch which is salt. which is amazing. We can find that stuff in Alabama because we can't find everything here. Now this is gonna be loud. It's gonna be loud. Okay, and then we're going to set this over to the side, and we'll be right back. Cool. All right, and what are we doing here? What is this? We're draining the black eyed peas. Because this is your meat substitute, correct? Yes. And then I rinse them a little to get some of the starch off. All right. Then we take the black eyed peas. And you're putting, putting them in a bowl. Now and I get the mashed. You, this is actually two cans, right? Yes. It's two just cans. two cans of black eyed peas. We eat a lot. <laughs> and it doesn't, does it matter what brand it is? As long as they don't have bacon or animal fat added to them. 
Mm. Okay. I actually right. prefer low sodium. And this is the part where we'd use the food processor, right? Yes. But we broke the food processor. I just used it to death. Yes, because at one time, you made a lot of these things. I, because you can make veggie burgers with any kind of bean you can think of, and it's fun to experiment with combinations. And we did a lot of experimenting with combinations, and they were, I don't know that there was any of them that I couldn't eat, and none of them tasted bad that I can recall. Chickpeas actually make the best chicken substitute. There you go. Black beans make a great burger, but so do pinto beans, black eyed peas. Some people like the cannellini or white beans, and I'm not a big fan. They're too wet. All right, so, but either way, this is the, this is the long part that takes takes so long, and and I remember seeing somebody else doing this in a video, and anyway. <laughs> This is the part where we'll probably cut to some kind of music and, you know, music montage, some kind of B-roll stuff. I don't know. I'm not real cinematic. I'm not a Peter McKinnon or a Casey Neistat. I'm not even a Viva Fry. Like I'm a zero hour TV 2x6. I mean, you don't want it to be complete unless you want some texture or it's like eating mashed potatoes. What was that? Easy. was like, what? Mashed potatoes. Or what was it? A uh, butternut squash that is just mush. <laughs> I'm gonna actually add some more of this to the peas themselves. And that's the seasoning. Yes. Surprisingly, making bean burgers, they soak up the seasoning and it'll taste like you didn't put anything in it. So whatever you think is good enough, add more salt and all. All right, and so you hear you're cutting an onion. I sure am. Add an onion. I always add onion to everything. No, no about that, but you just a... don't realize it because I grate it. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Because <laughs> our daughter hates onion, or she thinks she does. She doesn't know that she's eating it, right? Right. We just I started doing that. <laughs> We're, we're yeah, but I'm just saying we're just, you know, shifty parents, I guess, when making our kids eat what they don't know that they like. And these are good for you. They help with colds. And that's another thing about your particular style of cooking that, that, that not a lot of people know. I mean, even the people that have eaten your food, you... You make healthier foods, and you you know you you make gluten free stuff and stuff for common colds and for fighting all you know vitamins and minerals and this and that. Why not eat smart? Because it's hard. <laughs> it's definitely tedious. That was one of the things that uh, Axel and I were talking about at the store a while ago. Was you know eating vegan is expensive. It really. Why? Or can be, I guess. I mean, maybe it's just the fact that we aren't like, we're not vegan, you know, but we did try it for a while. I'm not a big meat eater, though. No. Never have been. But I can't go completely vegan. I just don't get enough iron in my diet. Mm. Surprisingly, considering all the salt <laughs> and all the, uh, Spinach that I can do. But I love vegetables. I mean, we've we've gone through phases. I mean, we went from eating meat to vegetarianism to to uh, veganism and all that. Is your phone ringing? Yes. Okay. Phone's ringing in the background. All right, here we are, grading onions. It's a fine grater, so it's going to turn the onion into paste. Uh, is this is this your binder? It's part of it. I'll use that and a little steak sauce. Uh, to bind it together. Instead of having to use any kind of eggs or anything like that. Although, if I had flaxseed, I could make a flax egg. It works just as well as a real egg. It's just flaxseed soaked in water. 
So you can actually make a vegan egg. Is that what you're saying? Yes, you can use a uh, tablespoon of vegan mayonnaise also. We have some of that, don't we? We do. That's how I make biscuits most of the time. Mm. With oat, with my oat flour. Yeah. I don't even buy white flour anymore. So there we are. You get used to it. It's not bad. And and I know that the you know the people that we go to church with like your oat oat biscuits or oat, bread. oat breads and biscuits and all that. So I mean, and that's gluten free stuff, right? Yes. Yeah. So know. it's it's not you know it's you know if you don't want to eat gluten because you think gluten's poison or whatever it is you think. <laughs> Some people have a gluten allergy or a wheat allergy. Mm -hmm. It actually causes their faces to break out and then have stomach issues. And I have plenty of stomach issues. Mm. But you're not glu you're not allergic to gluten. No, not that I know of. I never really thought about it. And that this is these are garlic cloves, right? Yes, I love garlic. Yes, we we do put a lot of garlic in a lot of. She puts the garlic in everything. It's good for you. Again, it helps with colds and flus and even allergies. Mm. Garlic is great. Garlic and turmeric make a great tea that's good for a cold. Mm. It doesn't taste good. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you really like, you know, want to repel vampires or something. Mm. Don't grade your fingers. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> and just about everything. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in to that because that's like, like it's like it crumbles up. So basically, you just crumbling it on the blades and tossing them in. That was just because it was a small piece. And this is a bigger piece. It's just easier than trying to peel it all down. See, the peel's just peeling back on its own. Mm -hmm. and garlic is sticky when you grate it. Case, you know, anybody who's my girl. I don't always put the chunks in, but I actually like garlic. So. Uh. I'm surprised we're not going to put garlic salt or some kind of garlic it's in powder the or hamburger seasoning. Green lady garlic. I usually do that myself too, but I don't normally buy the pre mix seasoning. Just seems like a waste. But for convenience of time today, I suppose. Yes. And what is this you're putting in? It's just a tiny bit of steak sauce for flavor. Steak sauce. Yes, it's called. Uh, Country Bob's all-purpose sauce. It's a basic steak sauce flavor, except a little sweeter. Hey, don't we have some Heinz 57? Can we put that in there? <laughs> we could, but it's a little strong with a different flavor. Well, I like Heinz 57 steak sauce myself. Your son does as well. Yeah. I'm gonna throw in my oat flour. Some of my ancient blender. Ancient blender. Are you saying that if someone donated a blender to you, you would have a use for it? I need my big wooden spoon. Big wooden spoon. I always need new appliances. Well, look, there's a KitchenAid mixer right over there that you've had for years that somebody bought you for Christmas, I don't know, two, three years ago. That's never been used. I quit baking for the sake of my diet. But not for the sake of my diet, because I still eat whatever you make, and I would eat whatever you bake. I know you would. Now here's, here's a here's a funny story. You know, uh, when we got married all them years ago. How many years has it been? Eighteen. Not quite. 15? Sixteen. 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 Are you sure? It's two thousand eighteen. Yes, it's been sixteen. And we got married in two thousand two. So yes, sixteen. Six. <laughs> Whatever. 16 years ago, 
She couldn't boil water. <laughs> could too. No, she couldn't. Anyway, what is this? Virgin, extra virgin, extra virgin olive oil. Yeah. Virgin olive oil. But anyway, and now she can cook just about anything she wants. And the and the great thing is, she, she can follow a recipe, but she also knows how to just put stuff together and make it work. Yeah. And we're thinking about starting a a, a a segment of with her cooking in the kitchen and different you know the meals that she prepares and you know stuff like cooking on the fly or you know cooking on the cheap and stuff like that. Now. <laughs> Coming together better than I thought it would. Well, I mean, so far it came better, came together with the spoon. Normally, I have to stick both my hands in there. Hmm. This time I don't, but I do want to put some rub oats in there. I like texture. I don't like mush. See, yeah, and that's the thing, you know, the uh, the. A lot of times, the food that you eat is not necessarily the way it tastes, but the way it feels in your mouth. I know that sounds weird. Mouth but... feel is just as important as taste. Yeah, see. For a lot of people. So that, you know, you get that little bit more roughage in there and it's a little bit more hamburgery. Well, oats baked in the oven actually get crunch. See? And that's the other thing. You don't fry these things. because no, they'll fall apart. You don't fry them, you bake them. Seven minutes on each side. That's all they need. It's really, really simple. Crazy simple how easy this was or is. Make it more complicated. <laughs> I have made it more complicated. We're no, we don't need complicated in our <laughs> lives, though. The day and age that we live in, everybody wants something simple, something I'm, easy. I can put together a veggie burger a lot faster than we've done this one. Yeah. Normally. It takes me very little time. If I, you know. We're just whatever we have in the pantry. I don't even plan this. Mm -hmm. I have used every kind of bean you can think of, just about even lentils. <laughs> they don't make good veggie burgers. <laughs> just so you know. They do make good. Well, they they're good flavor, but they don't hold together well. Mm. I, maybe next time we can make the chicken salad, chicken sa chickenless chicken salad stuff. Tuna salad. Tuna, okay, tuna less tuna salad stuff. That's one of my favorites. I know, I liked it too. That's chickpeas, right? Yes, chickpeas. Jeff had a food processor. Well, we need somebody to donate us a new food processor because we killed ours. But I mean, you, you, it was ancient to begin with, and you made everything under the sun in it. Say how old, that is. old enough, people. <laughs> not as old as you. <laughs> no, not as old as me. <laughs> but still, yet old enough. Hey, what's your Instagram? <laughs> Crochet hook thirty-two. I was right when I was trying to promote your Instagram page earlier. And your pictures you draw? Yes, although I haven't done that in a while. Alright, where are we at here? Alright, preheat the oven to 350. Preheat the oven to 350. Not because that's a real plan, just because that's where I was putting it. Hmm. Hey, now we make out the patties. How many are we making? Who knows? Until you run out. All I know is I want to have plenty because I'm starving. I'm making sliders, so I'm not even full hamburgers. And the bread that we are using not is not vegan. So this but is not a truly, 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 truly vegan meal. I was shorter than carry vegan bread, and I don't know where else I would get it. So. Although you could make bread. I've seen you do it. But <laughs> that's an all-day all event. So, and I have made vegan bread. Yes. Out of my oat flour. Yes, you have. And it works out really well. Yes, it does. But, 
I thought you said you didn't you say, or is this all we're making today? Thought we were making. I thought we'd save that for you know, something else. Yeah, for the okay, Just teasing you. <laughs> it's the teaser. We're gonna make more videos on how to make vegan food and r regular food and just we're having sliders and well, chips. <laughs> and those ain't vegan neither, but I'm sorry. We didn't say we're making an entire vegan meal. We're just making vegan hamburger patties. Just chips. Oh. I was actually gonna make potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> that I can make vegan. And ham. Just like a week ago. Was that vegan? It was. What and was it that? Oh, the deviled eggs weren't. The vegan. deviled eggs weren't vegan, but hey, you know. <laughs> I put the. It uh, is what it is. Mayo, and then I put my vegan mayo in the potato salad. And you can make your own vegan mayo if you don't want to buy it out of the juice from the chickpeas. What was that? Chickpea juice is what you can make vegan mayo, vegan mayo out of. Not some kind of weird whipped, I don't know what you made. You can make whipped cream out of it also, but you have to, you know, add sugar and have unflavored chickpeas. Or it tastes like salty water. <laughs> <laughs> just, I made that mistake too. It's just not uncommon. Just a, you know, a little pro tip there. So it looks like we're having at least six. And one of them is like really fat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look, I don't ever give them all the same size. I don't mind. I'm starving to death and the battery is dying on the camera, so go faster. <laughs> Sorry. You <laughs> should just cut it off here and then turn it back on with it. Alright, well, we're gonna be putting this stuff in the in the uh, oven in a second, so well um, we'll be back. Alrighty, and this is the we actually got how many of them? Eight? Eight? patties and we're sticking them in the oven for how long seven minutes on each side or really until they're brown okay seven minutes on each side or really until they're brown so all right here we go and that's it that's it for now all right here we are flipping the burgers she all says right. seven minutes i'm not real sure that was seven minutes but we're gonna flip them over Stick them back in there and wait for them to finish. So we'll be back in a minute. Go. Cool. Okay. And? Burgers are done. Are we sure? Yeah. They're nice and brown. See? Let me get in there on that. Man, it looks good. I gotta hurry, the battery's done. Do they smell good? Mm hmm. Smell delicious. Delicious, delicious. All right. That's what they look like. All right, cool. All right, next shot we're gonna be eating. All right. All right, here we go. I um, gotta make my burgers. Where's the cheese? Cheese. It's already on there. Well, this cheese is already on there. Yes, these are not truly, truly, truly vegan, but they're real close. The, the patties are There's nothing. No meat and cheese. Yeah, but <laughs> the, vegan is uh, no animal byproducts. I don't care. You want some of this? Uh, nah, you good. All right, somebody tear in one right quick because the battery's done. Mm. I got this. I'll tear this and leave the First bite. First bite from the chef. Mm. It's, it's good. Mm -hmm. Here, film me quick. Mm. Um. You glad? I don't <laughs> Don't look so surprised. <laughs> All right, next. Oh, that's great. All right, that's it. Wait. Like, comment, subscribe to Zero Hour TV 256, and we will see you guys next time.